Hi everyone, it's Elizabeth here. I don't know what I did with my sign, so I had to say my name. <laughs> I don't want you guys to forget well, who I am. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, anyways, um, I'm here. I have a project trip that I was working on this week over the weekends. Now, I haven't altered one of these um, notebooks from or journals from Michaels in a super long time. And this was like I don't remember when I purchased this. This was back in 2011. Yeah, I purchased this a couple of years ago. So a couple of years ago was a dollar. So I have a couple. This is my last one. So I altered one of these. And what I did is I decided to do like a little stationary set or journal set. Um, and I just love how this came out. And the papers that I used to alter this I use this beautiful shabby paper stack. This is my favorite, one of my favorite paper stacks to work with, which is the French Country Stack. I just love this paper pad. It's very shabby. I really have put this paper pad to good use. I've made many albums. Um, I've made too many albums with this. I made a couple of cards, and now I altered a journal with this paper stack. So um, I love that paper stack. So let me go ahead and share with you what I made. This is what I did. And I just love how it turned out and I put a lot of detail into it, this. So first off, okay, I have a little seam binding tie right here. Um, I used regular plain um, ivory colored cardstock to cover the whole book and a portion of the inside. And then I used this paper, this pa uh, paper from the stack to cover the inside. So I finished it. I wrapped it all around so it looks very nicely done and then um, here let's go share you can see more this is the same cardstock that I used to bind the book to um, cover the book and um, here's the seam binding before um, after I covered it I added the seam binding and then I put this uh, design paper on top on both sides and then on both sides I added this ivory um, cardstock and I used the Martha Stewart punch it's punch around the page um, I think it's like a lace design and then this lace oh this is beautiful lace trim from Hobby Lobby in ivory color I love this so I added that there on both sides you can't see it much here, so that's why I show the back. And then this is a beautiful satin pleated trim that you can find in my shop in pink. And then, okay, so here I add, I made this flower and I used this ribbon that I believe that I picked up. I'm not sure if it was at um, Joanne Fabrics or um, Walmart this ribbon and it's wired ribbon and I love to use wired ribbon to make these type of flowers because it just makes it so easy and then I use this I use this um, spray right here and then I had this in my stash this uh, ribbon and clay flower in pink this was in my stash that I received in a rack from Janelle hi Janelle craft sponge here on YouTube this I have available in my shop and if you see here there's some iridescence on there. I used um, this paste that I received in a rack also from Janelle, this glitter paste. So I used it on here and I used it on here. And then um, here is a little piece of lace. Let's see if I can see it right here. There's a little piece of lace. This is a flower that I received in my swap from Anna. Anna Yan is here on YouTube. Hi Anna. This is Recollections Flower, a paper bag doily, paper bag lady um, doily. Um, here is a clay flower from Michaels, the, the Barrettes. Another Prima leaf. Here's another uh, of that piece of lace. Here's some acrylic sprays. Here is one of my Mod Podge melts, a little birdie. And then the nest back here. I have this also in my shop, this uh, foam calla lilies. And then this is also in my shop, the pink uh, poly rose flowers. Here's some paper two-tone flowers also available in my shop. Acrylic spray. 
one of my Mod Podge melts, the frame, a cameo from my stash. Then this is from Michaels from a couple of years ago. They come in um in a pack. And then this little thing is so cute. Um, is from Lily Laneka's store, Shabby Licious on Zibbits. Hi, Lily. So I just love it. And then the seam binding right here. Just love how this turned out. So to go with that, I made, if I could find it, I made a little bookmark. But the bookmark that I made, I used one of my crochet flowers. And this is one of those huge, mongous um, clips from Daiso. I had ordered a, hot, a big box of them online. So I spray painted it beige. I added one of my crochet flowers, acrylic buckle and flatback pearl that's available in my store. Just love it. So um, I can mark my pages wherever I left off. Whatever I journal, I could just mark it there. And then... To finish it off, I made, I altered a pen. And this is just a regular big pen that you could buy at any store. And I just love this. It's very simple. I like to alter these pens. Usually I use my mesh blink to alter it. But this time I just used pink ribbon. I used pink ribbon. Here's a leaf. A little flower from, that I received in my swap from Anna Yanis. Then here is a little tiny flower with a bling in the center that I purchased from Shabby Licious on Zibbit um, Lily store here's my poly roses also these little calla lilies right there they're so cute from Anna Yanis and then I did the same thing on the opposite side and then I added some paper flowers on top for my store and a flat back pearl from the store so this is my complete little journaling set. So I hope you like what I've created. Um, please leave a comment if you wish. And until next time, bye.